For years, Google had quietly advanced its AI capabilities until it faced an unexpected challenge from OpenAI's ChatGPT, released in collaboration with Microsoft late last year. The surprise collaboration prompted Google to acknowledge the impressive momentum in the AI landscape and its commitment to exploring the vast possibilities ahead. Keep watching this video as we tell you Google's Gemini is now facing serious backlash. On the recent unveiling of Google's state-of-the-art language model, Gemini, it became evident that this new creation surpassed its predecessors, including ChatGPT and GPT-4, across a spectrum of benchmarks. The prowess of Gemini in reading comprehension, mathematics, spatial reasoning and interactive tasks, such as playing games through a video feed, was particularly impressive. However, despite the apparent advancements, a sense of caution permeated the air during the code report on December 8, 2023, where it was revealed that access to Gemini Ultra Venti Supreme Pro Max model is deemed too perilous for public consumption. Gemini, Google's latest AI model, has achieved a significant milestone by outperforming human experts in specific benchmarks related to problem solving, mathematics, physics, history, law, medicine and ethics. A demonstration showcased Gemini's ability to recognize and interpret diverse inputs, from a person reenacting a scene from the Matrix movie to drawing a duck. Gemini not only recognized the content but also provided comments, comparisons, conclusions and suggestions. The Ultra version of Gemini demonstrated superior performance in 30 benchmark tests, surpassing other state-of-the-art models in areas such as image understanding and mathematical reasoning. Google's chatbot, Bard, which was launched earlier this year, has now integrated Gemini, promising a significant upgrade. Bard, now powered by Gemini, will offer advanced reasoning, planning and understanding capabilities. It will be accessible in English across more than 170 countries, with plans to expand to other languages in the near future. The Gemini-infused Bard will also become multimodal, meaning it can process auditory and visual input in addition to text prompts. Google's latest venture into artificial intelligence, the Gemini model, designed to compete with ChatGPT, has faced significant backlash with the tech and AI communities. A primary source of criticism revolves around deceptive marketing practices employed by Google in promoting Gemini. The hands-on demo video, a focal point of the prominent material, was heavily edited and did not accurately represent the model's true capabilities. The video, which showcased Gemini engaging in seemingly real-time interactions, was later revealed to have been created by feeding still images to the model and editing together successful responses. This revelation raised concerns about transparency and authenticity in marketing AI technologies. Google's plans include releasing the highly advanced Ultra version of Gemini early next year, marking the beginning of a new era for the company. Collins expressed awe at Gemini's capabilities, signaling Google's commitment to continuous innovation and advancement in AI. The integration of AI into daily applications, such as Gmail, YouTube and others, reflect a broader industry trend. Google's move follows Microsoft's incorporation of AI powers into its Office 365 apps, although with additional costs and limitations compared to Google's integrated approach. While the longevity of generative AI chatbots remains uncertain, governments and tech companies emphasize the significance of generative AI in shaping the future. Increased investments in new products, research and infrastructure underscores the belief that generative AI is a pivotal chapter in the technology landscape. Another source of controversy surrounding Gemini involves benchmark tests, specifically the massive multitask language understanding test. While Google claimed that Gemini surpassed human experts in certain benchmarks, scrutiny arose over the methodologies used in these assessments. The comparison between Gemini and GPT-4 on the Chain of Thought benchmark revealed a noticeable drop in performance for Gemini, particularly when tested with a five-shot methodology. The controversy shed light on the importance of understanding benchmark nuances and the potential manipulation of results. Gemini's overhyped claims also contributed to the backlash, with Google positioning it as a groundbreaking model that outperformed humans in various domains. This led to unrealistic expectations with the AI community, and when the model's actual performance was scrutinized, it intensified the criticism. The lack of independent validation for Gemini's benchmarks and capabilities added to the skepticism surrounding the model. The absence of a neutral third-party verification raised doubts about the reliability of the reported results, as independent assessment is critical for establishing the credibility of AI models. Furthermore, the opaque release plans for Gemini, especially the Ultra version, added to the discontent. 
Google's announcement that the Ultra version would be available at an unspecified date in the next year hindered the community's ability to independently assess and validate Gemini's performance, contributing to the overall skepticism. The dynamic of competition within the AI landscape also played a role in intensifying scrutiny on Google's Gemini. With OpenAI's ChatGPT already making significant advancements, Google's claim about Gemini's superiority triggered comparisons and debates about the true innovation brought forth by the new model. The serious backlash against Google's Gemini model encompasses concerns related to deceptive marketing, benchmark controversies, overhyped claims, lack of independent validation, unclear release plans, and the competitive dynamics within the AI landscape. As the AI community continues to evolve, transparency, honesty in marketing, and rigorous independent evaluation will be critical for establishing trust and credibility for emerging models like Gemini. Google finds itself embroiled in controversy with the AI community due to a promotional video for its latest AI model, Gemini. Released earlier this month, the video seemingly showcased Gemini's ability to recognize visual cues and engage in real-time vocal interactions with a person. However, as reported by Palmy Olsen for Bloomberg, Google has openly acknowledged that the video was deceptive. The admission reveals that rather than real-time interactions, the researchers fed still images to the Gemini model and selectively edited together successful responses. This editing technique partially misrepresented the actual capabilities of the AI model. A Google spokesperson clarified the process, stating, We created the demo by capturing footage to test Gemini's capabilities on a wide range of challenges. Then we prompted Gemini using still image frames from the footage and prompting via text. The revelation underscores the deceptive nature of the promotional video and raises questions about transparency and accuracy of AI demonstrations. The spokesperson further explained that Google filmed human hands performing various activities, presented still images to Gemini Ultra one by one, and interacted with the model through text rather than voice. The edited responses were then combined with voice synthesis to create the final video. Critics argue that the video misleads viewers by creating the impression that Gemini can interpret real-time visual input and engage in vocal interaction seamlessly. This misrepresentation has sparked concerns about the ethical implications of such promotional strategies, especially in the rapidly evolving field of AI. One key element that raised skepticism among AI experts was the computationally intense nature of running still images and text through massive language models. This complexity makes real-time video interpretation practically challenging. Some experts pointed out that the media's portrayal of Gemini's capabilities might have contributed to misconceptions about its practical applications. Palmy Olsen, in her Bloomberg piece, highlighted that the video lacked specificity about the likely use of Gemini Ultra, an unreleased version of the model. Olsen commented, Fudging such detailed points to the broader marketing effort here, Google wants us to remember that it's got one of the largest teams of AI researchers in the world and access to more data than anyone else. The controversy comes at a time when Google is positioning Gemini as a direct competitor to OpenAI's GPT-4, which has been recognized as a market leader in large language models. The unveiling of Gemini initially generated positive market responses, with Google's stock seeing a 5% increase after the announcement. However, the subsequent scrutiny from AI experts and concerns about overhyped claims, particularly regarding sophisticated reasoning capabilities, led to a re-evaluation of the situation. The AI community's focus shifted towards benchmarks and claims made in the promotional video, with experts dissecting Gemini's touted abilities. The media's portrayal of seamless interactions and reasoning capabilities was questioned, prompting a closer examination of the AI model's actual performance. AI experts noted that the video failed to specify that the recognition demo likely involved Gemini Ultra, a version not yet available. The controversy reflects a broader trend in the AI landscape, where advancements and claims are subjective to rigorous scrutiny. Google, having faced challenges from upstart OpenAI in generative AI technology over the past year, is under increased pressure to demonstrate the capabilities of its latest models accurately. As the fallout from the deceptive video continues, Questions arise not only about the specific capabilities of Gemini, but also about the broader ethical considerations surrounding AI marketing and the responsibility of tech giants to present accurate portrayals of their innovations. The incident serves as a reminder of the evolving dynamics in the comprehensive AI landscape, 
and the importance of transparency in communicating the true capabilities of emerging technologies. What do you think of Gemini? Let us know in the comments below and do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more.